In this video, you're going to learn how to create your own DVD that will play on your DVD player that you create from your own video files. You're going to use a free software called DVD Flick. You can find it at dvdflick.net. Now what we do is we just go ahead and download it. So let's go to download and download DVD Flick. A little box will come up here. Just save the file to your disk and then install the program. Now once this program has been installed, you can just fire it up. And here's what it looks like here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set your project settings. Click on project settings. Here you can name the project. You can name it whatever you want. Target size. You can leave this as the default. We're going to burn it to DVD. 4.3 gigabytes usually, but if you have higher capacity DVDs or you have other types of formats, you can use any of these. But we're going to burn it to a 4.3 regular DVD. The encoder, this is the processor priority to the encoder. Set that at normal. And the thread count is what determines how fast the encoding goes as well. Next, we'll go to video need to be in the format that your DVD is. North America, that'll be NTSC, and in Europe and so on, it may be Cal. Target bit rate, you can leave as the default, auto fit. Audio, this is all auto. Playback, after title is finished playing, you can play the next title, play it again, stop playing, or return to menu. So we'll say play the next title. Loop to the first title when done playing. You can turn that on and off. And I always enable first subtitle if there's subtitles in there. Burning. This is where you got to tell it how you're going to burn it. You can either create an ISO image and then use a burner, or you can have it burn directly to your disk. So we're going to burn it directly to our DVD. It detects our DVD for us right here and automatically erase diff disk if it is rewritable. You can turn that on or off. So we're all ready here. So we'll just click accept. Now we'll go to menu settings. This allows you just to pick a menu and there's a there's four of them available here. So you can just pick what your DVD menu is going to look like. And you can either enable or autoplay. So we'll Enable the menu and auto play. We want to auto play the menu so the disc doesn't just sit there when they plug it into their DVD player. So we'll accept that. Now we have to do is add the titles that we want to be on our DVD. So we can burn different types of video files, for instance, AVI files, which are usually supplied to you with PLR content, or WMB files. I'm going to go and I'm just going to use a WMV file for, in this case, but you can use AVI files as well. So all you got to do is click Add Title. Little box comes up here. And then you just select your videos one at a time. And you add title. So each video becomes actual title on the menu. So bring in all three videos. Then what we can do is we can edit the title. Right now the title is Video-1. Well, we're going to want to change that, and you can just change it to what you want. I'm going to change it like this, and then next title, and then next title. Okay, accept. Okay, now you'll see we have video one, video two, video three. Those are our titles. Now all we have to do is do create DVD. It tells you that it's going to be burnt to disk after it's finished encoding. So you need to make sure there's a blank disk in the recorder drive. So make sure that you have a blank disk in your DVD write drive before you continue. Click OK. 
and then ask if you sure you want to proceed and you can if you don't want to see this anymore you can click this and say yes okay it's saying the destination folder already exists that's because I've done this before so we'll just say yes and then it starts on its way here so what it's doing now is it will go through all of these steps first prepare the files encoding video and you'll see the progress bar along here and it will go through each of these steps and when it's done you have a DVD that you can play in a DVD player and of course you can also play it on Windows Media Player so we'll just let this run now you notice here it says title one of three video one of one so it's going through each of our files which are called titles and it's going to add all three of those titles to the video so it's basically going to have to take as many passes as the number of clips that we added. So in this case, it's going to take three passes at the encoding video and then the same thing with the encoding audio. So now it's into title two of three. Okay, now we're into the third pass. And then when it finishes that, it'll continue down the list and encode the audio. Okay, so it's almost done all the encoding bits. For the video now it encodes the audio again it needs to take three passes at the audio which is much quicker than going through the video so it's through pass one and now it's into pass two now pass three and now it will in combine the audio and the video together. So this takes a little while for it to do that. After that, it adds any subtitles that were in the video in. After that, it renders it, and then finally it writes it to the disk. This whole process can take quite a while, depending on the size of the video files that you're using to create the video from. Now we're down at the authoring DVD and it's generating menus right now. As you can see, it goes through the tasks that you'll see on there. Then finally, it will write it to the DVD. Okay, so at this point, it's starting to write. Now it opens up two more windows. It opens up an informational window like this, and then it also opens up a burning window like this that tells you the progress of what's going on. So right here, it says reserving track, and then it goes through, does everything it needs to do, and starts burning okay now it's buffering and you can see shows you all the steps in the log here and shows you the percent complete when this is done your dvd is ready to plug into the dvd player and watch on your tv or any dvd player or using windows media player mm -hmm.